tuned into channel 48 on the 1st of July and today it's Kitty Kotti and Kitty Kotti means the chain is broken today we remember the end of slavery days that was ended in Suriname 1863 so today I want to of course because of that congratulate all the Suriname people and all the South American people that are celebrating this 1st of July. However, I'm here with the iPhone 4S. And it seems that these days, to jailbreak this phone, you need to go to sites, according to videos here that I see on YouTube, and download applications, and then I don't know what you should all do. But in this video, I'm going to show you the proper and the right way how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S and even the 5 in 2021. I'm here with an iPhone 4S that I just uh, restored. It's fully clean. It's not jailbroken. It's running 9.3.5. So I'm going to show you how to jailbreak it. You will need a computer for this. You will need your cable. Um, you need a computer with iTunes installed and you need a, a tool called 3U Tool, okay? 3U Tool is a tool that will help you with various things. I think 3U Tools is a must to have for every iPhone user. You know, it will help you to put videos and, 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 and pictures and, and music onto your iPhone without a hassle. It's a matter of selecting these files and, you know, they will be sent to the iPhone, to the right places. So you can play them, you know, whenever you need them. So we as well, after the jailbreak, uh, we as well going to upgrade the look and feels. So it will become a small iPhone X, you know, so it will look like, you know, a very expensive uh, little mini iPhone X. Um, we're going to update the icons. We're going to give it dark mode, okay? Uh, no uh, app library because that is not available for uh, these lower builds. And as well, no uh, widgets in the desktop. Uh, it's as well not available, but you're going to end up with a very beautiful phone, including dark mode built in. So are you ready? Welcome again to channel 48. If you did not subscribe yet, subscribe to this video, share it with your friends, you know, and, and remember this information. I was watching some of these uh, videos to see what I would deal with if I would post this video and how to jailbreak 4S in 2021. I see a whole lot of difficult things that these guys are doing. So, um, yeah, no computer. Well, we will need a computer. Okay, we are computer guys, so we have a computer. Uh, here is the tool, it's called 3U Tools. And um, we would normally f uh, jailbreak this phone with H3 Lex, uh, I always say Helix, um, but the uh, Cydia Impactor tool is uh, because of a changed uh, policy of Apple not working anymore. So you can try whatever you wish. You're not going to get in if you are not an app developer at Apple. If you don't have a developer's account, you will not be able to use Impactor. Then how to get uh, 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 this this Helix tool on the phone. Well, it's, it's it's very bloody simple. It's very, very simple. You know, we need this tool. This tool that you see here, you know, um, it will give you inform or information about your device, etc. Your IME. Uh, you can do a whole lot of things. You can flash, uh, do a complete new install. You see, I did a new install here. The file was downloaded, automatically installed. It was activated and, and, and setup was skipped automatically. This is this is just amazing. So let's go to Flash and Jailbreak. Okay, and let's select Jailbreak here in the corner. So here you're going to see the following devices and versions support Jailbreak. 
iOS 5.11, that's the iPad one, and 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 friends, 6.x, uh, 7.x, 8.x, 9.x, 10.x, 11.x, 12, 12 up to 13.3. Well, in fact, they even have uh, a jailbreak for uh, 14. Um, I think 14.6 uh, jailbreak is even working with uh, Checkrain. Uh, but that jailbreak I already showed in a previous video. Okay, so let's just run j the jailbreak and see what's going to happen. It's on test, test 2. So if you have an iPhone, it's always advised to have a computer, okay? Here it's saying threats found, antivirus, but Microsoft antivirus is always finding things. In fact, that are not there. But as you can see, this application is not worrying about Microsoft uh, jumping up. Here you can see Phoenix, boom, and the current jailbreak was sent to the phone. And the only thing you need to do now is tap that one and then trust it and then trust. And then it's going to be verified. It will take a little, verify the app. Of course, of course, but of course, you must as well connect to the internet. Otherwise, it cannot verify the app, but of course. So that was something that I already had to do, but I just installed this and this thing never connected to my Wi-Fi yet. So let me do that. Okay, we're connecting and I think we are connected. Okay, so now we go back to the profiles, general. Device management and verify the app. Verify. And it's verified. When it's verified, it means that you can go back to your desktop and you can now run the app. Okay. Prepare for jailbreak. Accept. Dismiss. Here you can download an application. It's called uh, Free Mix Tape, but we don't want that. We just proceed with the installation and we use provided offsets. Okay, sometimes uh, that is not working and then we must manually put in some offsets, but I found out that uh, it works flawlessly these days. It's going to reboot and not even three minutes later we're gonna have cdr and not a fake cdr not some cdr that is telling you freemium and and all sorts of nonsense now not all iphone 4s's are the same some will be jailbroken by phoenix in a wink i was saying helix but i was uh, confused with the iphone 5 but it's the same thing, in fact. Um, and the problem is that certain iPhone 4S's won't be able to be jailbroken out of the box by Phoenix. You will need to add uh, uh, some numbers yeah, uh, before you can get it fixed. As you're going to see here, no sign of Cydia. Cydia was not installed by Phoenix. So let me show you how we're going to add some offsets uh, into the jailbreak process so the phone will actually be jailbroken. And let me tell you one thing. This information I released years ago. And I was looking for the offsets online and it brought me to my video. So it's really hard to find these offsets. So... <laughs> watch this video properly you know pay attention what to do and appreciate it that this video is being created in 2021 wow this information is really amazing that i then made a video look at that i have all the offsets here i'm looking all the way on the internet nothing only 5000 views on this video Jesus, look at all this information here. 
If routing on access devices, use custom offset. You see that? Uh, site downloaded. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, these are offsets. Make sure you get the offsets for the A5 devices. Okay, uh, we will have to put that in, and uh, sometimes, sometimes you have to redo that before it will actually jailbreak the device or look very well whatever you're typing because these phones are small and sometimes you miss a key and then you know the offset will not work so yeah this must be done with with accuracy okay so now choose in the jailbreak tool to uh, add an offset yeah and go type these these numbers that i uh have here for you in the in the description that's only if it's not uh, jailbreaking out of the box you know if phoenix is rebooting and you don't see cdia means that the exploit was was not done so you need to add these five lines in 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 the jailbreak tool i know it's a little bit a hassle but don't be lazy okay let's see what's gonna happen now we typed everything nicely it installed certain stuff it said your your device is jailbroken and then it rebooted again okay so let's see what's gonna happen we should be jailbroken now i think i hope because with some iphone 4 s's it just passes and with others it just yeah it won't work you will need these uh, these custom offsets. And this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning if you're gonna reboot the device again, you will have to run the jailbreak app again. Okay, and then you must put these offsets again. So I advise you not to reboot your device, okay? So we arrived, let me see. See if everything went right. And there it is, Cydia installed. And you can now run Cydia. Um, of course, after kickstart jailbreak what do we okay so why is cdr not working uh that is because you must run the jailbreak again and then it's gonna uh, make sure that cdr will work so go through the jailbreak again just jailbreak uh you don't have to put no offsets just go through the thing and then it's gonna reboot the phone and then it's gonna say mm, you are jailbroken we're gonna reboot and now your cdr will finally work but now you have a real cdr on the phone and not some fake CDR icon that is talking about freemium. And when you want to do something freemium, you must have a freemium credit card. Because if you have no paisa, you will not be able to use their useless pieces of crap applications that I find in, in, in these kinds of jailbreaks. So this is the way how to jailbreak an iPhone 4S and in no other way. I don't know how many times you must do this. I cannot remember. <sighs> CDI is working now. So it just needed another reboot. Okay? CDI is working. Alright. So let's wait for the update to come. So we can update CDI. And let me put the screen a little bit lower because it's very very painful for my iphone so we're gonna get the upgrade now there we go we do a complete upgrade
amazing. So at this point, there is no account hanging to the phone at all. Okay. So I'm just preparing the phone. So we're gonna give it a dark mode, so it's gonna be nice and black. It will look amazing in the settings, looks really good. And look and feels, we as well gonna update. We're just gonna let this go. These are the packages are being installed. So that restart Springboard and now we can go ahead and open it again. This is how it should become. Nice, huh? Okay, so let's go to that. Let's first uh, do something about the screen. Uh, for the dark mode, you will need Eclipse, Eclipse for iOS 9, just hit install, confirm, so we first gonna give it a nice little dark mode. Rocket Bootstrap is being downloaded. Oh, now I know why it's conflicting with Animon. If we as well select the dock to make it dark, it should leave the dock unaffected. We're gonna select that in the settings. It's gonna respring in a second. This will become a very nice device. Very good looking device. This one had... Uh, didn't need no offsets so with this one i could immediately get started jailbreak worked out of the box so let's first make this dark one give it some nice dark looks I'm gonna go down to eclipse enable it um, color options I want my navbar at midnight. This is black. Team midnight. Tint color white. You could go for any other color. Okay. Custom colors, no. Um, advanced options. Dog color default okay because it's gonna conflict because of the rocket boots trap as well i think it is um sb status bar dark color midnight or so color keyboard midnight it's gonna be nice and black and then here we can go to the 
uh, advanced options enabled applications where do you want it to be black uh, app store is nice if it's black facetime um, mail music phone gallery ipod player settings safari always hurts my eyes when it boots up and of course cydia where is cydia i don't see cydia these are the end compatibility mode cydia okay so that's it and then we go one back eclipse and then we hit restart springboard so now these settings will be applied and now we're gonna have a nice dark dark settings part and even the dock became dark i can see you see that beautiful and if we go to cydia now should as well be dark or not not yet hmm. okay we type iphone x and here it is iphone x team go ahead confirm and install it could be that we must reinstall ro uh, Rocket Bootstrap because it's not gonna load Animan. And Animan is, in fact, the application that is doing this for us. It's the winter board, sort of winter board, but as well not. It's Animan. And these guys, they are specialized in iPhone X teams. At least I think they, they make the nicest team. It always works. It looks good. And I think it's going to respring. <clears throat> Before we had Tetra jailbreaks and then we installed something and then the phone wanted to restart. And then we would prevent that by just hitting the home button and going back into the you know, and, and not do the restart. And do a respring instead. There we go. And there is Animan. Let's see if it's booting up. Yes, it's working. No errors. Beautiful. Here we're going to select the iPhone 4 dock. In fact, we can... Let me see. Yes, we can select everything here. Only not the iPhone 5 dock. And anyone here. We say blur dock reflections. And we can say no icon labels. Okay, and then we hit preview. And there it is. You see that? Looking all nice, and we're gonna apply it. And it's not applied, and why is that? Because we need a respring. And how do we gonna respring? We're just gonna use the respring from uh, from our lamp application. This is the Eclipse. And let me see something, because I see that the dock was affected. No. Dock should not be any color. So, dock 
may not be affected. And then we're gonna respring, restart springboard. This as well helps for animon, you know, so no animon will as well be set the right way. It should have around the dock. You see that? And now the dock is nice around it. Do you see that? So this is done. In fact, we are done now. Uh, no, we are not done. This control center looks bad. Um, you must forgive me. Uh, I'm once in a while confused with the iPhone 5. The procedure is almost the same. Uh, but then with Helix, uh, I confused Helix with Phoenix in the beginning of this video as well. Um, and here I'm in the imagination that I can uh, install the control center 11. Uh, to uh, to this phone and it's supported 9 10 and 11 are supported uh, at least 9 8 9 and 10 are supported uh, to to get the beautiful control center uh, of uh, of course ios 11 um, but because of our setup yeah uh, because uh, we're gonna get some conflicts this uh, control center will not work so you will have to choose and it's it's hard to choose because what do you want to go for uh, these look and feels of animon iphone x look and feels nicely round dock etc or just a, a ios 11 control center then i rather stick with my old control center and i'm going to show you here what will happen if we're going to continue this installation of the dock and uh, after the respring you will find out why we cannot do this in combination with the other things that we did the dark mode and of course the iphone x animal team that yeah effect are using yeah elements that are conflicting let's respring this phone is a brand new installed ios phone it never went on the internet yet if you must go with your browser to all these sites all sorts of things are being injected in your browser i don't understand these apple users they don't understand these things and then they make videos and tell people that they must go and download applications and install them and do all sorts of crazy things. Hey, my, something happened. Okay, we apologize. All right, all right. What do we see here? We see here that there is a problem. When you get this problem, it means that you are in a safe mode. Then it means that something went wrong. How to fix this? Very simple by removing that application again that control center was not good so you go to installed applications and there it is modify remove it's not working good at least not in combination with uh, with the other applications not in combination with 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 animon and with with the black the black team that we you know added they are conflicting somewhere and then yeah we cannot use it maybe look for another one that maybe could work but there are not so many applications that do the same thing these guys they work together and yeah this one makes this the other makes that and others, they create all sorts of packages in these repositories, but these are, of course, not islands. These are many people delivering their work. Now the dock is good again, you see? Sure. So about the control center, yeah, I, I, yeah, I cannot do anything about it. Here, I as well got that problem, I think. Let me see. You see? I as well have the same control center here because 
Yeah, it works online, but not in combination with these look and fields. So there is a conflict somewhere with one of these applications. So yeah, if you're not gonna install uh, this iOS theme, and maybe you're gonna install another dark uh, dark mode, then probably you're not gonna have this problem. Then it will install for you. Okay. But it's just like you know, some people you should not put them together. If you put them together, they start fighting out of nothing. Big fight. <laughs> big fight. The big fight. So I'm just, yeah, I'm missing my black wallpaper. So I'm going to go for Mars. Set. Set boat. Boom. That black is so nice, huh? It looks so good. Oh yeah, here, I'm just gonna dim it a bit. Uh, turn on weather location, no, not needed. Turn off Bluetooth, so this is it. Unfortunately, no gadgets, peeps, uh, no widgets. I think you could get some widgets here somewhere, but edit. No, these are about the widgets. Cloud. Sure, peeps. This is it. A nice phone still. I have nothing on it and what what can you do out of nothing well i'm gonna show that to you um there is no account on the phone no nothing okay i'm gonna connect the cable and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put some music on it how about that um up here we're just gonna go to music you see that? And then import. And then select file. And let me see, mp3. It's not a lot, huh? Okay, open. Waiting for import, please wait. And then there it goes, man. Hi, peeps. And now we just imported five songs. And now we want some video. And we say import video. Select file. Here I have some dubs. I'm going to select all. This one, this one. And this one. Open. Waiting for import. This is how to do it, peeps. So those that saw this video today and did not know this yet, just like how I did not know. <clears throat> I as well did not know. Look, now 
in my music, I will have songs. Look at that. Black player. Apple Music, what number? Oh, continue no man. What, what, what should I do? I don't want this. I want my bloody music. Where is it? Already member. No, hey, what is this, peeps? I don't want to join. Go to my bloody music. Look how they put it, eh? As if you cannot even click it. Go to my music. They don't want you to go to your music. You must click it 10 times before it's going to bring you to your own music. That's why we use alterna alternative players. You see? You understand? That's why. Because you are being pushed around by these Didibris. These are Didibris. That's how we call these people. Didibris. So we did not add any account and we're playing music. This one again, get back, this one. Strictly drum and bass, make you wind up your ways. Nice. <laughs> this is very old reggae that I like to listen. It's instrumental. Lovely. So podcast we can as well get into immediately. So we already have a music player and a music downloader. Podcast. At the podcast. Or you can at the podcast. Okay. I don't have no podcast, man. Let's just look for a podcast. A nice reggae podcast. Dance all summer twenty one. Let me hear your bloody music. You see the black team is not, not good everywhere, Because eh? I cannot read crap here. These guys they use black 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 text. And black on black is it not it's not working, eh? It's black and white. They must be together. Otherwise it does not work. I believe it it works so you now have a little music video player that is not registered to any account so we can put in a sim card and then you can make phone calls okay applications you will be able to add of course after you create the account or you install AppSync and just you know push the account or what you could as well do um you could literally import an application um how do we do that again bind what is this oh no 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 i don't want to put no account but you can install applications Without having an account on the phone. But that is not advised. If you have another jailbroken phone, uh, you could get some applications from that uh, phone 
if it's on the same iOS build and then uh, copy them to your desktop and then import them to this phone via the import function in uh, in the apps uh, that you will find in uh, 3U tools and then um, it will copy the, the, the application to your phone but when you're going to open the application it will ask uh, yeah it will ask for the account that is bounded to that application so it's in fact uh, a good idea if you have another iphone but if you don't then you're going to deal with cracked ap uh, apas ap ipas and then um i don't advise that because then in fact you're you're creating a phone for somebody else okay i want uh, to show it to you but uh app sync is unfortunately not in the standard repositories uh, from Cydia, so we will need to add a repository, something like uh, uh, repo.hackyouriphone.org, uh, I think it was. And then um, you will have AppSync, but I'm finding something else here, and this is even more interesting. Oh, that, is, that is a good idea. Let's see if that works. Well, so that is about it, peeps. These are the procedures that you uh, need to take to update or the look and feels update. You're not updating the firmware. You're updating the look and feels. It becomes a different device to look at after all these years. This might be kind of, yeah, nice for your eyes, you know, so you see something else. Um, I'm going to stop the video because I'm kind of tired, okay? It's uh, time to go to bed, but... Uh, I'm still happy to show you the exact procedure how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S in 2021. It works still, everything works fine. I'm very happy with this phone. And in the next video, I'm going to show this process uh, on the 5. And then you will as well learn how you can get your iPhone 5 uh, looking all beautiful and nice. Thank you for watching. If this video helped out, leave this video a big thumbs up. Okay, if you still have the iPhone 4S or you're going to get one for 10 euros the way I did, you know, um, you have a nice weekend project in front of you. And trust me, it's really nice to have one of these 800 euro devices. Uh, still, even though, you know, nobody's using them anymore, you, thanks to this information, will be able to still use this phone in an amazing way. So thank you, uh, Cydia, Saurik. Uh, thank you, uh, um, 3U Tools. Uh, thank you, Phoenix. Um, thank you, everybody, Dark Mode, uh, etc. Uh, big up to you all. And uh, love to see you in the next uh, Apple jailbreak video again. Uh, subscribe as well, Android users. Subscribe uh, if you did not subscribe yet. And of course, questions are always welcome.